my channel how are you doing i have just been binge watching 90 day fiance and one season i skipped a few because i've already seen a few so it went straight to like season six or seven um the one with julia and i forgot his name but oh my god there's so many people on there that i hate so let me tell you about my jacket i bought this jacket about two years ago i bought it during covid off ebay and it's from a brand called noisy noisy may but i got it on ebay for 13 pound i guess because it was covid no one was going out everyone was clearing out their wardrobes emily got the bargains and it's just been sat in my wardrobe since when i bought it it was slightly too big so i didn't really wear it it wasn't oversized enough that it looked like a cute oversized jacket and now it's too small <laughs> put down the pies emily it's a little bit tight now so i haven't been wearing it I'm, you know i stuck it on my depop no one bought it and i'm just like okay right let's do something about it now no one else wants it so let's reuse reduce recycle i already have a faux leather jacket that is plain black and quite similar to this so i don't i don't really want another one i want to turn it into something that i'm actually gonna get some use out of so that's where this comes in so I am not very good at painting or drawing or anything artistic really um, but I decided that I want to turn this jacket into a hot red jacket. Everybody has battle jackets with their favourite bands on. My favourite bands are literally Motionless in White. Everything else I just wing it. I listen to songs from pretty much every band, every singer, love me some Alanis Morissette, Britney Spears, anything 90s, any early 2000s new metal, I absolutely adore. So if I turn this into a battle jacket, it's going to be a pretty weird combination of bands. And I don't think I would wear it as much as if it were a horror jacket, because I oh my god horror titties i didn't even that was purely by accident so i'm gonna turn it into a horror jacket um and hopefully i will wear it a bit more so i went to work the other day and i printed out some text i would say are you gonna can you guess what what film i'm gonna make the jacket on but i'm guessing i'm gonna put it in the thumbnail and some pictures down the arms i'm hoping i'm not sure how like if in what way i'm gonna have them facing if i'm gonna have them going down my arm or facing away i think i'm facing back so firstly i have do you like should be on a games show scary movies and then I've got them again in just the same font but different sizes. And I got everybody's a suspect. Because I wasn't sure what I was going to actually have. I'm going to cut them out, put them on the jacket and work my magic. And then this is what I wanted on the back. I got this off Google. This didn't have any art so if you're the artist or you know who the artist of this is please let me know and i will link them in description i did a reverse image search and it, it didn't come up with who it was or who it was by um same with this one it's kind of a generic one a lot of people have it tattooed i specifically got this i hope i got a bigger one because that's not that big um i want to i never do my jackets up like, and i really hate the look it's my personal preference i really hate the look of leather or faux leather jackets biker jackets in general done up so I want to put the knife on the inside sort of flat. I'll show you. I'll show you. I think that's everything. I'll tell you now, I am not an artist. I do not, I cannot draw. The reason I went for this sort of font is I'm hoping that I can cut around it. And I have not tested this out, but I have a white gel pen. I'm going to test it out right now. Um, and I'm hoping I can just draw around the, the, the stencils I'm going to make. Let's try it. What are these called? These have a, like a really proper name, don't they? Look, they've still got the, the paper under them. Please work. <gasps> it works. This is just a generic white gel pen. Got this paint. A friend of mine makes leather jackets. He has a business called Mr. Nine Lives. I will link him in the description because he is wonderful he has helped me with this jacket so much um and he told me to get this paint which i haven't even opened yet and i've just opened it and i don't think i'm gonna have enough got a, a little brush on it but i'm not gonna use that brush i have a very very oh this is um angelus white acrylic leather paint keep out of reach of children i got it off amazon it was about four or five pound and uh sean uses it on his own jackets that he makes and 
comes out white. I think you do have to do two coats of it, but it comes out really white. And I got a really cheap, not as thin as I had hoped, and the hairs are coming out. And a little makeup brush from Poundland. One pound. I have safety pins. I have spikes. I'll move my camera down and I'll lay everything out and I'll have a quick talk through of what I'm gonna do and hopefully this is gonna turn out right because I have, I've been meaning to do this for so long and today is the day. The sun is shining, the tank is clean. The tank is clean. So wish me luck. I'm so nervous, I really hope that I've printed everything out in the right size because now that I'm holding it up against me and against the jacket, it looks quite small. Right, let's start this. It's only taken me two years to start it. <laughs> 90 day fiance. <laughs> I've laid the jacket out as flat as I can. It's kind of difficult because the, the front of it doesn't go flat, but I've done the best. Um, luckily this has got a nice big square patch on the back already so I know exactly where to put it. Uh, the stencil is a lot smaller than I would like it but I don't have a printer so I'm gonna have to make do with what I have. I'll probably just add maybe some hearts, maybe a telephone or something, see how good I can draw one. <laughs> so first things first I'm gonna cut out the grey outline so I'm gonna put my 90 day fiance back on and just whiz through that. I'm getting anxiety. Can I, uh, can I be done now? This has been two years in the making. Don't f it up. I'm gonna take my gel pen and mark all the way along these lines. The faster we're falling, we're stopping and stalling, we're running in circles again. Just as things were looking up, you said it wasn't good enough, but still we're trying one more time. Alright, I'm actually really happy with the size. I thought it was going to be too small, but um, no, it's really good. Have a look. Tell me what you think. But that's the outline done. And then here is what it will look like. So that should fit in there. <gasps> it's backwards. <laughs> I didn't think about that. It's backwards. But it's fine. It's going to look exactly the same. Just, just uno reverso <laughs> Right, I'm gonna carry on. That should fit in there perfectly. <gasps> and it does, Emily did something right. So now I'm gonna keep this white line and the white face and cut out all the black bits. Maybe we're just trying too hard when really it's closer than it is too far. Cause I'm in too deep and I'm trying to keep up above in my head instead Cool, so I've done exactly the same thing, but possibly reverse because my brain cannot work out what I did, but it's all good. I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. I'm gonna be a little bit more careful because I went kind of smudged the lines a bit, but as this is the inside, this will be, this line I'm gonna draw around here will be the line that I paint. So I need to be a little bit more careful with, um, just in case this pen does not wash off. So wish me luck. That was so much harder than I thought it was going to be. Just because I, ca I can't, I'm a rusher. I, once I start something, I just rush it and I want it done. I want it done then, now, 10 minutes ago. So I have rushed it a little bit. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to peel the layer, peel the skin back from the shaft, neaten up some of these lines, and I did cut off all the bottoms just because it would be so much easier to draw them on rather than um, cut out all those squibbly, drippy lines. And then do exactly the same thing with the face. So I'm going to cut the face out, cut all the black bits out, draw around it, and then I'll come back and chat to you again. Like open doors. 
so I've drawn on the little heart bit um, and this looks very messy this makes sense to me these little lines here um, I need to rub out because these all this line down here and this bit is going to be black oh get back same with this heart all this line here is going to be black so I'm going to try and rub this little line out here and these are all going to be white I'm going to grab water and a cotton bud and see if I can just rub these little lines out and then I will do no it's you and then I will do his face come on his face I grabbed a little chip cup and he's got water in him and a handful of cotton buds and I'm hoping this is gonna work it's not the end of the world if it doesn't work but I know how my brain works and my brain is gonna go do not paint over that line and my eyes are gonna go what this line so <laughs> it's so much easier if I just take the line away I never realised what a cute little button nose ghost face has, so like, how cute is that? How sexy is that though? Like blah, blah, blah. So spill my drink so the back is done uh well basics done it is painting time and i'm so nervous because uh this isn't as easy to get off i thought uh, just flown everywhere this isn't as easy to get off as the pen is so <laughs> it does have a brush in it but i i'll probably use it for the bigger bits but i'm going to use that little makeup brush for the edges and i don't know how long it takes to dry so hopefully i can get this all done today let's get painting So the paint is really good. Um, it's a bit sheer, so it's definitely, do I have paint in my hair? No, I don't. Um, so I'm definitely gonna need to do another coat. And he's looking a bit like not as scary ghost face as I wanted. Um, he's looking a bit like ghost face. I added some splatter, which has gone all under my nail and I can't get it off, but it really, I need to do a bit more at the top, but I think it adds a lot more. Um, so I'm gonna let this dry. So far I am, loving how it's looking and the a4 i filled an a4 sheet with the back patch and i was worried it was going to be too small but now that it's on i think it's gonna i think it's perfect let's try and do an arm the jacket it has these creases down the right down the center of the arm right where the jacket where the center of the arm is from where it's been held hanging up in my wardrobe so i am going to um it won't be this word it'll be the other ones do you like i'm gonna cut out the words and line them let me show you i'm gonna cut out the words and line them up with this crease so um i've got the same on the other sleeve can't really see and i've that's as flat as i can get the back while i do this <laughs> it's not too bad i just smudged some of the paint no but um yeah so i'm gonna go along this crease and hopefully it will it will look cute I'm also going to have the words facing inwards. So when I have the jacket on, the words will be, I've got to think about this. So the jacket will be on, the words will be facing it. So if you're staring at me, you'll be able to read, do you like scary movies? So it will kind of start at my right wrist and the words will go along like that. So if I hold my arms out like a, like a pelican, you'll be able to read it. <sighs> so that makes sense in my head, but putting that down onto the jacket my brain's just like which way do you do it So I, 
my camera battery just died, so I had to run downstairs and get another one. Stepped in paint, so I've had to change my sock. But <laughs> Ben got some Christmas presents yesterday from one of his customers. It was addressed. Don't know how well you can see that, but it says to Ben and Laura. <laughs> And I was like, right, my name's not Laura, so I'm going to open them. So, um, yeah, thank you, Ben's customer, because I love marshmallows. I'm sure Laura would greatly appreciate your very generous gift. And also, <coughs> chew your food, you're an animal. Also, big shout out to Sean, because he has been messaging me all throughout this video. I've been messaging him like, how long does the paint take to dry? I've smudged the paint, how do I get it off? And he's at work, bless him, and he's still messaging me like, calm down just do this do this do this so high five mr nine lives i kind of filled in my own little bits with the middle i just can't be bothered to do all that again i i kind of don't really want it to be perfect either because it's diy it's mine i'm the one who's gonna wear it i'm not perfect my clothes shouldn't be either so i'm gonna go back in paint the sleeve <laughs> this whole video is me just going, wish me luck. <laughs> Chill out, what she yelling for? Lay back, it's all been done before. And if you could only let it be, you would see. I like you the way you are when we're driving in your car. I've lost the pen! How does this happen? Like, I, oh, I put something down and I swear. The little nuisance fairies come out and move it right before my the fucking borrowers, wasn't it? So far it's looking really cool though. I just had a, I have no confidence, no belief in myself. So I just had a, I'm watching 90 Day Fiance and I'm like, cool, I'd be able to tell if someone was marrying me for a visa. <laughs> I don't know if I would. But I was just looking at the jacket and I was like, I just had a moment of, if I saw this in the shop, I would pick this up and go, oh my God, I need it. A little bit proud I am. Where's my pen? It was right in front of me. I was using it 10 minutes ago. sleeves have done back is done i'm gonna do a second coat over all of this hopefully you can see look there we go and then i will let that dry and then i will come back maybe tomorrow and do the front i was really hoping to get it all done today but because the back will still be wet i can't turn it over to do the front but i'll put it it'll all be in this video so don't worry i've got spikes to put on pins i've got a lot uh, the paint has dried really fast to be fair like honestly about 15 minutes and it was dry yeah the the do you like sleeve oh, there's a ferret hair stuck on it the do you like sleeve is is dry and um, scary is drop is drying and movies i've only just finished um but yeah i'm gonna put splatter on that as well but i am so pleased with how it's coming out and i just genuinely can't believe it it's like i made this it definitely needs another coat because um it's just kind of drying like that where it's scratchy looking i'm so proud of this and as long as i don't pick up the second coat i'll definitely be wearing it <laughs> hopefully not to the dumpster I won't bother filming the second coat because it's literally just going over the whole thing. Um, probably not as neat, just filling in the main bits, but 90 Day Fiance is heating up, so I'm going to carry on watching that. No, I wasn't just fingering Casper. Um, I was using my finger to do some splatter, like splitter splatter it off my finger and, and it's all up my nail. But I have just done the second coat and smeared it a little bit but it's 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 all right it's all right that's what i keep telling myself 
that Simpsons episode. It's just a little dirty. It's still wet. It's still good. It's still good. It's just a little airborne. It's still good. It's still good. I'll just get this paint from under my nail because otherwise it's going to drive me insane in the membrane. So I think I've done all I can do today. I just need to wait for it to dry so I can turn it over and do the front. Absolutely loving it. Like, so far it's chef's fist. Um, I, I adore it. I have just bought a, because there are a few smeary marts that have dried, so I have just bought a, um, a black leather pen so that I can, not a black leather pen, but a black pen to go over a leather, um, so I can neaten up some of the lines, some of the paint that has dried. So I am going to, uh, say goodbye for now, wa wash all this off my hands, and just leave this to dry, and I will come back to it in a day or two whenever this pen gets here, seal it, and do the front. The front's gonna be the fun bit because I've got safety pins, I've got spikes, I've got I've got more paint. I've used less than half of this little pot of paint to do both coats, so all good. Right, keep, stay tuned because it'll be in a minute. I'm just, I don't deal well with compliments and the fact that it's come out pretty good, I'm just like, did I actually do something right? Am I better than everyone? Stay tuned guys. Hey guys, so it's been about, um, it's actually been about two weeks since the first part of the video. I got really ill and I got food poisoning. I just couldn't be bothered. And then today I have massive period pains and I have PCOS and it makes the pains so much worse. And I thought, today's the day! Why is today the day? Like, today is the day really for just laying in my pants but it's the day i have to film so my jacket is dry here it is so far and today we are just neatening up some of the lines i bought a um a pen i've got some eyeliner i have pins i have stuff i have stuff i'm gonna do so let's have a look let me show you what i've got i think i messed his eyes up a little bit i want them a little bit bigger a little bit more kind of ghost face spooky so i'm gonna use an eyeliner to just uh mark out where i want his eyes to be and then i bought this pen an acrylic marker pen it's all in uh polish um so i can't actually read it but when i bought it it said it worked on leather and i did try it out and it worked pretty damn well and when i was messaging my friend um about doing my jacket he was like you need to get some leather proof spray so i also have some fabric and leather proof spray for waterproofing which i will be spraying on at the end when i'm completely done because he was like as soon as you wear your jacket out someone's gonna spill alcohol on it he knows me so well <laughs> um and, it, and all the all the hard work is gonna wash away today's pretty simple I'm, I'm gonna just stick pins over it i might and studs and i might do some i might do some more painting um, I'm just kind of gonna tidy it up a bit, but we shall see. As I wanna do another one of these where it's a bit more like crust punk, where it's a bit more raggedy, a bit more DIY, studs everywhere. I wanna keep this one kind of focused on being a scream jacket rather than being a gothy, punky style jacket. I want this to be horror-y. So I'm gonna, um, have a little play with my eyeliner. I'm using the Makeup Revolution Beetlejuice Purple Eyeliner. <laughs> I don't have any other pens or eyeliners and eyeliner is really easy to rub away. So I'm gonna mark out where I want it and color it in. All right, that specific eyeliner made the pen like kind of split but it's fine it's fine i'll just do it lighter and and yeah um i don't know what else to do so now i'm gonna just turn the jacket over do some more pen work on the like do you like scary movies kind of spindly up that writing a little bit and then i will come back and chat with you why does it feel like night today something in here is not right today why am i so uptight today P paranoia is all i got left i don't know what stressed me first after how the pressure was fed but i know just what it feels like to have a voice in the back of my head like a face that i hold inside face that awakes when i close my eyes face that i watch every time i lie face that laughs every time i fall 
super quick i've just turned the jacket over so i can see all the front now and the front looks really really bland so i was gonna do all the pins i'm really really quickly gonna do a stabby knife i'll do it exactly the same way as i did the back cut it out stencil it all that jazz i'm gonna really quickly do that and then i'll do the safety pins so I know that when it's time to sink or swim That the face inside is here in me Right underneath my skin done not looking too bad not looking too good either but not too bad i will let that dry and i will do another coat but right now i'm going to do the fun part i bought loads of safety pins from i got some from poundland i think these came from poundland 55 for one pound i got oh let me put this up so i can talk to you Oh, that's better. I did get some off eBay as well, just because when I couldn't be bothered to go into Powland, um, I think I got the same off eBay, but they were like one ninety nine, one nine nine. But that was with the postage, so I guess there was still a pound, and you pay nine nine p postage. And I have these studs. I had longer ones. This is my. I have a bag of. Um, you have a little tiny padlock. I might save that for the other jacket. Uh, is there a padlock in Scream? Do they lock anyone in a furnace and set it on fire? Don't think so. We'll save that. I've got a moon. This is my bag of just stuff that I keep. I always, if I have like bracelets, necklaces, chokers, anything that breaks or a bag, I think these came off bags, um, that have cool hardware, I always keep it. More shall I say white? I have loads of these um, studs, but I have longer ones. And I don't know where they have partaken to. Oh, they're right in front of my face. Oh, I've just found some other patches. These are from Tooth and Nail, Tooth X Nail. I just found these. These were what I was gonna put on to this jacket, but I'm gonna, actually I might put that one on this jacket. Yeah, Tooth X Nail, and they make really cool patches like this, and they're very cheap. I got these studs from Trimming Shop, trimmingshop.co.uk and i my friend hates these so i'm gonna tell you both sides of these before i tell you how much i love them they're like uh don't fall it's gone down my sleeve they're like push pin studs and my friend says they all fall off i've had a few fall off admittedly so i'm not gonna bullshit you and say they're amazing they never fall off but i find them just a little bit easier than the screw ones i get really weird uh, obsessive compulsiveness um, I get it with my piercings as well. I tighten my piercings an obsessive amount every day because I'm so paranoid I'm going to lose the jewellery. And I get like that with studs as well. But these are, excuse my dirty nails, are like, there's no screw. It's like when a man and a woman love each other very much, he puts his stump into her tree trunk and they fit together like that like a little mushroom and you just push and that's it that is it really simple really easy i hope you've been able to see that because it looks quite dark on my camera okay that really just defeated the point of me showing you because that really did come apart easy they usually don't come apart very easy that one is coming apart let's put that one in the bin let's try a different one <laughs> but i also no these ones are all coming apart you are not doing me any favours. What I might do is glue them then, because I, I have glue up here. I'll um I'll still make a hole. I'll make a hole through where they're gonna go. Pop a little bit of glue on the end of the pe on the end of the man, and then shove it in the woman with consent. I also have these screw ones, which are metal and they're they're just heavier. And I'm all about comfort. I'm not about having a really heavy spiked jacket that looks badass but it weighs the same amount as me as a baby i want lightweight i want airy i want the look of it but not the weight of it <sighs> that's my life motto um but these ones are quite heavy and they are screw ones but um 
so I'm gonna I'm gonna glue these ones in because they just completely a trimming shop you've just completely ruined my I was trying to do you a favor I got a hundred ten millimeter little cone spikes I have a I have three bags of these and I think they were like $1.99 a bag maybe maybe $2.99 they were not more than three pound a bag I'm very unorganized for someone who is organized so what I'm gonna do is use some skizzers and loads of you DIYers are gonna hate me for this. I'm gonna use the skizzers to push a hole through the faux leather and push the stud up through. I'll show you what I mean. So, so first things first, I know I want studs down the collar bit here. Like that's just a given. That's the total gothy emo battle jacket way to do it, isn't it? On these bits. And loads of people put them on the shoulders too, but I wear uh, backpacks, so I'm not gonna put anything on the shoulders because it's just gonna get in the way of my pack bags. So I'm gonna make the main, oh, what a beautiful surprise. So I'm gonna make the main focus these bits here. And I never do my jackets up either. So I'm gonna put stuff down here as well. Cause this, I might put the bone there actually. It might be quite a nice little contrast. So for now, I'm just gonna put some holes and some studs on here. I am gonna glue them and then I will come back and check to you when I'm done. Took her out, it was a Friday night I woke alone, to get the feeling right We started making out, and she took off my pants But then I turned on the TV And that's about the time she walked away from me Nobody likes you when you're 23 And I'm still more on here's my TV shows What the hell is ADD? My friends say I should have my age What's my age again? looking cute so far but it's time my hair up it was annoying me it's crazy how much difference just a few cheap studs and safety pins can make the knife paint is almost dry i'm listening to r slash while i do this i mean it's really i don't know it's just really fun listening to people's dramas while i'm like crafting away it's really therapeutic this is what it looks like at the minute so i'm going to do the same on this bit and um something with this as well and put a few up here Stick some more safety pins on, and then I think I'll be done. Not too much more to go, really. Because I definitely want this to be a more muted horror jacket rather than this second jacket that I'm hopefully going to make um, once this is finished, which is going to be very full on and... Rah! Whereas this is just... <laughs> Back to r slash. <laughs> Mine and Violet's favourite quote from The Witches. So I've been on a little hunt around my house, out of breath, and I found some things. I found a little cobweb pin, heart, and an eyeball pin. I don't want to put any colour on this jacket, but I think I'm going to add one little pin up the, on the collar, just, just, but I don't, other than that, I don't want any colour. And I found a giant safety pin, which my friend gave me. Might stick that on the collar as well. And I've got me this now if you're British you'll know what this is you will know there is a 99.9% .9 chance that this is not biscuits it is in fact a sewing kit <gasps> oh my god no no I need white thread I'm gonna do something really cool and I need white thread I have cotton downstairs so I'll go and grab that I'm gonna stitch this bone onto the front I'm gonna add the patch bits I'm gonna go over the um, knife the knife again um, and then I think I'll be done genuinely loving it and I'm so surprised I'm loving it loving it loving it I'm loving it like so, oh, one, oh, I found something else. I also found, because I used to make jewellery many years ago, um, little jump rings and little knife charms. They, I think they're like butter knives. <laughs> but I'm going to put um, a couple of them on the zips as well, just for an added little small thing. Yeah, just watch. <laughs> so later on... On the drive home, I called her mom 
from a payphone I said I was the cops and your husband's in jail This state looks down on side of me I only have a tiny bit of white thread, like teeny, teeny, tiny bit. I must have used it all when I did my ghost face outfit. This is all I can find and it's not a lot at all. So I'm going to Catwoman stitch as much of this as I can. It's gonna be very loose though. So usually I would do it um, very close together, very tight stitches, but this is gonna be very spread out and sporadic and I'll just safety pin the rest. I might go over it when I do get some more white thread or do find my white thread but for now that's what i'm gonna do improvise bitch and that's about the time that hung up on me nobody likes you when you're 23 and i'm still more abused by prank phone calls what the hell is call id my friends say i should act my age what's my age again what's my age again Is it when you're in a rush you can't find what you're looking for I'm looking for the spray can you see the spray it's gonna be right in front of me isn't it I'm in a rush my child will be left at school I am done let's lift you up I'm done jackets like this are usually a work in progress so I might add more bits here and there but for now I think I'm pretty happy with how it come out so I'm gonna just give it a quick spritz with the fabric leather proof this is from nick wax waterproofs maintains yeah i'm just gonna spray this all over the jacket so i'll give you a little tour quickly So that is it. That is my new scream ghost faced sexy jacket. What do you think? I'm so happy with it and I did it all by myself. I actually love it. I freaking love DIY. It's a huge part of our community and it's where we need to take fashion back. And um, you know, I'm kind of part to blame for that because I do all these hauls and everything, but I DIY so many of my clothes. I just don't really have time to vlog it or film it. Like, I mean, this has taken me like two, three days to do because I have to do it between the school runs. But I'm, I'm loving it. And if you would like to see me do another jacket, let me know because this was a lot of fun. You just, I just sit and put podcasts on and just like, <laughs> and it's really therapeutic. So yeah, like my jacket says, do you like scary movies? Have I inspired you to DIY something old? Turn something into horror -y? Let me know in the comments below. But for now, thank you so much for watching my DIY scream jacket video. I hope you enjoyed it. I gotta go now, I gotta do the school run. But I love this. Oh, I can't even wear it because the front is still wet. I'll wear it tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you very soon. Much love boobs, take care of yourself, and most of all, don't buy DIY and stay weird.